Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to another video in Canada once again. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. So, what I want to say is uh, today we're out on a out on a back road here in the mountains, uh, not too far from the Canmore Banff region, and the weather today has been pretty average. The temperatures dropped considerably um, from the last couple of days. It's quite cold today. Uh, some sleety rain and it's just a bit miserable so we decided to just take a drive on this back road and see what we could find and uh, I wasn't going to sh shoot any video today but I thought oh, I'd really like to show you guys this scene it's it's really beautiful actually so we're just driving around this back road we had our telephoto lenses on we were just looking for actually hoping that we might catch some wildlife so far We've, uh, we've had a coyote pup, which I'll show you an image of, and we had another animal, and by the time I put the video together, I'll be able to tell you what it is, but at the moment, I don't know what it was, but a small animal. Um, and now I've just found this beautiful little mountain cascade stream that's covered in green moss, and it's absolutely stunning. So uh, I've been in there with the telephoto, because I had the telephoto lens on the camera, the 100 to 500, so I thought, oh, I'll just jump in there with that and see what I can do. So I just done a few sort of more intimate shots there and I'll show you those now. Yeah, you can see like there's certainly something different and I've en I really enjoy this and it's just what I call freestyling where you just go out and just shoot whatever whatever your eye sees, whatever's in front of you, whatever feels good. Um, so I've just come back to the car, grabbed the video camera, I'm going to show you guys this little stream and I've switched lenses, I've gone to the 24 to 105. I'm just going to uh, jump back in there and um, try and get a few shots with that. So guys, as you can see, this beautiful little cascade stream behind me, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's a little bit sort of busy, there's a lot going on, but there's some really beautiful intimate scenes here. So I'm just gonna head a little bit further up the stream. I've swapped lenses now, I've got my 24 to 105. So I'm gonna give that a go, and um, I've already got a few really nice intimate shots. Uh, as you've seen with the, the 100 to 500. So I'm just gonna go a little bit further up the stream here and um, just try a bit, bit wider stuff with the 24 to 105.
not a lot of b-roll going on here <laughs> it's uh, quite a scramble to get into this spot but uh, certainly worth it absolutely beautiful really is um, just showed you a good uh, a good look at the scene now I'm going to uh, probably that last clip I've just shown you that little cascade there I'm going to uh, try and get a few shots of that I think Hopefully you guys can hear me, I'm getting close to the camera here. There's a lot of noise from the waterfall here, but um, next thing is just to experiment with shutter speeds. I don't like that real completely smooth, silky sort of look on the water when you're doing these sorts of scenes. They've got no texture and they just lose a bit of, um, I guess they just lose a bit of contrast in the water. They get a bit too smooth. So just experiment with the shutter speed. I've tried a few different ones quarter of a second, sixth of a second, one eighth of a second. Um, I'm probably preferring the ones that are a bit faster, like one eighth of a second. And I might even go to one tenth or one fifteenth of a second, <clears throat> just so I've got that texture in the water. Well guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thanks as always and once again for tuning in. Bit of a spur of the moment video, but I think it's turned out really well. Um, just finishing up at this little lake here. Uh, I did come to this place a few years ago when I was in Canada and I actually had a couple of moose over here on the edge of the lake. I'll try and drag out uh, a photo of that if I can from the archives and show you, uh, show you the moose that I've seen here. So just sort of come here on the off chance that we might have um, caught a moose around the fringes of the lake, but unfortunately that's not the case today. So I'm gonna wrap the video up. Um, as I always say in all my videos, please do me a big favor, go ahead, leave a comment, uh, give me a thumbs up, let me know what you thought of this video, let me know which photos you liked, I always wanna hear what you've got to say, uh, hear a bit of feedback. Uh, if you enjoy my content, once again, please consider, if you haven't already, please consider uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep watching, stay tuned, because the next video is probably going to be another video from Canada. Uh, lots of adventures to go yet. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Signing off for today. Take care of yourselves. Um, be good, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. <laughs>